And something wicked this way comes, or at least that might be what Shakespeare would say as Halloween approaches. That's right, and while Halloween Eve can bring about a lot of family-friendly fun, we here at NAZ have some tips and some safe, some tips for some safe and spooky holiday fun. As you prepare for a delightful night of fun and fright tomorrow on Halloween, we have some tips on how you and your trick-or-treaters can stay safe. Now remember that if you have children coming trick-or-treating with you, that you always accompany them, especially if they're under the age of 12. Trick-or-treat always in well-lit neighborhoods because visibility often equals safety. It's also important to apply normal street safety standards, so always look both ways before you cross the street and be sure to be aware of cars and the fact that it's dark at night and sometimes visibility is low. It's also a good idea to use the buddy system and make sure that you pair up for your trick-or-treating. In reference to Halloween, it's, it's quite an event in Flagstaff. Flagstaff really celebrates Halloween, uh, not only for the little ones, but for the adults as well. Being that it falls on Friday this, this time, um, we may have some issues in the downtown area in the neighborhoods because the kids don't have to go to school the next day. Whether you're dressing as Anna and Elsa or a ghost or goblin, be sure that your costume involves something white or something reflective to make sure that you can be seen by motorists in the dark. Uh, Flagstaff is a dark city, so if they can make themselves visible, that makes them much safer. And that would, could be even uh, glow sticks or strips on their clothing. You can use FDA-approved face paint, which is often safer than a mask, and can help make other trick-or-treaters feel a little bit more comfortable. Make sure that all of your props are benign or fake. No one wants to end up getting hurt on Halloween night. Additionally, the Maricopa Fire Department would like to remind everyone that it's also a very good idea to purchase flame-retardant costumes. Well, not only do we ask the trick-or-treaters to be cautious, but we also ask our modern public to um, pay attention and remember it's a, a big event and there's lots of foot traffic. So, if you'd like to welcome trick-or-treaters to your home this year, be sure to turn on your porch light. And we here at NAZ Today would like to wish you a safe and spooktacular Halloween. I'm Sierra Ferguson.